Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Devarin. It's New Touch Auto Dipper. This video is going to be a little different. Got the Ford F-150 back here. Big boy. We wanted to do something light, something simple. So, what I decided to do, do a little trickery here, man. I don't know if you noticed, but that light is supposed to be white, right? <laughs> if you want to know more about this video and how I did that, Stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So what we're gonna be doing is working with this F-150 over here. This big Ford F-150. What I'll be working on is tinting the lights with liquid film tint. Yep, liquid film tint. What I'll be doing is using VHT nightshade tints. So the things I'll be covering is this headlight, that fog light down there, and we're gonna go to the rear. The rear I'll be covering that too. Everything comes with a process. So therefore it gotta be prepped right and it has to be masked off to make sure you get that outcome you want. This tail light, I'm gonna be doing something tricky to that one. So you'll see in the finish. And you see that top light up there? I gotta do that one too. Like I said, everything is a process. All right, we got some simple products that I'll be working with. I got my grease and wax remover with this own microfiber towel. I'm gonna pretty much use this to wipe the front and back tail lights and headlights to make sure there's no grease or grime on you know, the surface. I got my alcohol. I'll be using this microfiber for that. Alcohol is 99% isopropyl alcohol. That alcohol will go on after I apply my grease and wax remover. It'll pretty much create a better bond to the panel that I'm spraying and also I have my tape and my newspaper you can use whatever tape size you need but I'll be using this tape size this tape here is more flexible so I'll be needing this especially in the rear area because I'll be doing a lot of curves you'll be able to see that in the finish or you matter of fact you'll see it right now around this area here I have to tape off so therefore I gotta be real creative and go ahead and get around these edges so this white, it, make sure that this is exposed because this is what I'm painting, all right? So this yellow tape will allow me to curt, hit corners, tear off small pieces, turn the corners and whatever I needed to do. So it's more flexible. So what I have is my white exposed. These are the reverse lights. So when the reverse light come on, these light up. You will still be able to see them in the finish. But as you see, that tape allowed me to hit them curves like I wanted to. You know, I was able to maneuver that a little bit better than a thicker tape. So therefore, I'm all set. So what I'll do now is go ahead and apply my grease and wax remover now, and I'll go ahead and prep my front. Let that give it time to dull down, and it's show time. The front's gonna be a little bit easier because I'm gonna be doing the light tint on the entire light housing. So therefore, I just have to tape around the outside mask it off, and then go ahead and apply the tint. Bottom, pretty simple as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and mask that off. I know I left out a lot about prepping the vehicle and about how to apply that tape and also how to apply this product. But, lucky for you, I got it right here in the description. I'm gonna leave it right here. So directly after this video, it'll take you straight to it. You can learn more about how to apply this product and other ways to apply it as well. If you want to see more videos about prepping, I got them in my video. Just check them out. You'll see more videos that's gonna help you in the future. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, Hit that subscription button down there. You'll see more videos that I post in the future. And also, notify yourself when I, when I do post them. Enough of all this. Let's get back to the video.
All right, YouTube, this concludes the end of the video right here. That's it. Now, like I mentioned, I didn't give you a quite tutorial on how to do this, but I did give you a description link to find out how to apply this product. Now, I'm going to take you around just to see exactly what everything looks like. I'm going to show you that those lights do still come through with this VHT nightshade. The reverse lights, you can still see your reverse lights. Nothing's changed. Only thing is, in the daytime, you won't see that effect. The only time you'll see that effect is at night when you apply those brakes or reverse lights or whatever you decide to cover. Now, if you haven't already, the subscription button is right here. Hit it. It's for free. Just go ahead and click it. Another thing, if you like more of these videos and you want to see something else, hit me up in the comment section. I will respond. Thank you all for checking out this video. Hope to see you on the next one.